Donna K, ChallengeWorkouts.com. I'm here with Niall, and uh, we're in a beautiful hallway in Miami. That's right, South Beach. <laughs> South Beach, Miami. We just stole away from a mastermind, and uh, I know that uh, oftentimes, women in particular, yeah. right? Your program is ge geared for women. It is geared towards women. Yeah, a lot of, I get a lot of mail about, um, you know, emails about women trying to kind of tone up the bottom half. Yes. And I know that that this is something that you know your program specifically addresses so I wanted to talk to you about it and I wanted to I just want you to tell us about how do I get great legs well the thanks <laughs> uh, specifically what we do is we have body weight exercises and we have sprinting Okay. Right? but not just uh, mindless sprinting where it's run here run there we use a lot of sprint drills that elite athletes use which are very simple and accessible but right. what they do is they hit the, the muscles in angles you just don't get from any other exercise, right? Right. And they develop each of the muscles in the legs, the glutes, and the core. Because you can't have great legs unless you really have a great body. Yeah. Right? Um, and what happens is when you develop all those muscles, those, those legs that are looking okay, that you want to look amazing, that's the thing. You really need to hit it from multiple angles and develop the quads, that teardrop VMO, your hamstrings, you want yeah. that nice slight bump, your glutes, you want to hit them from multiple angles so you're hitting them from the top and the bottom and the sides, right? right? Yeah. And then obviously your abs. Yeah. And I like that your program actually addresses nutrition too because you, I abs mean, are made in the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen, yeah. right? So you really, there's, there's a nutrition component. As That's well right. If, if you don't eat well, you can have the greatest body, but if it's lying underneath a layer of fat, no one gets to see it. Right. Right? Yeah. So you definitely need to address nutrition. And I mean, the, the program is designed for specific hormonal responses. And we've talked about this right. before. Yeah. But if you want to fight fat, if you want to fight cellulite, you need to have balanced hormones. Right? What a lot of people don't really understand because there's so much misinformation yeah. with you know, the global beauty uh, industry trying to sell creams and powders and potions and pills um, that cellulite comes from a hormonal imbalance. That's where it starts. You balance your hormones, you can fix it. Wow, right? that's good news. That is good news. You know, because right? I know that, that a lot of people just throw their hands up in the air and in, in despair over cellulite, thinking, okay, well, I'm just stuck with it. Well, you see, it's not their fault because of all the marketing, you know, trying to sell you the next cream that's going right. to get rid of it, right? Yeah. But, you know, if you're watching this video and now you know that it's a hormonal response and exercise and food is the answer, then it's your responsibility to fix it. Well, I think the thing, too, is that people are looking for the magic bullet. Yeah. And you have a solution, but it involves some sweat and maybe pushing away from the table, which is a healthy way to, you know, address those, but it's not necessarily easy. Well, I think, you know, a lot of, uh, there's that saying that, you know, we, we give up what we really want for what we want in the moment. And, you know, we all have cravings for food and stuff like that. And yeah. I always say the hardest lift is your butt off the couch. But if you put in the work, yeah. if you, you know, if, and it's not that you can't eat well and eat delicious food. Oh, I'm with you there. Right? Yeah. It's just that it's just the, it, it's maybe some people find it a hard pill to swallow at yeah. first. If at they're first. on a path of, you know, kind of sedentary eating not so well. Yes. And then it looks like deprivation, like when you're, you know, eating, not eating sugar and all the it things. Does. That, it does. But the payoff and the benefit is you're feeling so good. Well, this is the thing, like, I mean, when first you see these things, you think about what you're giving up. But yeah. focus on what you're getting, getting and think about what you're giving up on the negative side. Like, how many mm -hmm. times do you get up and you go into your closet in the morning and you have nothing to wear? Yeah. Or you go shopping and it's no longer fun. Yeah. Right? You don't want to look in the mirror. Or you want to change in the dark. Exactly. All that right? kind of stuff. So. I do that a lot, but they're for totally different reasons. <laughs> Get into that. That's another video. <laughs> but you know, that idea, and yeah. if you think about those moments that really bother you and think yeah. about what that would be like if you look great. If you great, feel better about yourself. It's, yeah. re it's really like we do, we focus on physical transformations. Right. But what you do in here is so much more, what, what you get from that, and that's the gift you give yourself from doing the work. Exactly. Is so yeah. much more huge than anything physical. Yeah, right? and, the, and then the physical becomes kind of the icing. It does, Yeah. it does, right? Yeah. And life is just better. Yeah, well, you're gonna find more information at the link below. At the link below. And uh, we better get 
back into our, we're in a mastermind here, so we all kind of share our ideas on how we can help our clients. And so I had to grab Niall, uh, you know, very when much, I, because uh, I know that what he has for you, him and his partner Daryl, right. um, have teamed up on this project. It's a great program, and uh, you can read about it below. Thanks. See you again. Nice. Okay.